hello guys welcome back to wrestling so in this video we are going to see one of the most asked java interview question that is what is comparable and comparator so let's start without wasting any time so consider this as a class comparable and comparator in which we have main method and i have just uh, written this small code that is uh, created one array list and has added one of four elements into it okay so this uh, array list contains student object so when we will add uh, the record it, it will contain object uh, that is with new keyword and these are just example random uh, example you can say 2c 3a 4d 1e so in order to like comparable and comparator are used to sort the data like uh, data uh, with the help of object so first we will see comparable okay so first thing you have to do is the student class which we have uh, used in this array list student object so it will its class will implement that comparable okay of student so first thing you have to do is implement comparable of that class name so once you do that it will throw you error because as a comparable uh, you can say uh, contains method uh, that is an implemented method so you will get error and uh, you will have to implement that unimplemented methods so just click on this add unimplemented methods so it will now create a empty method for us yeah here compared to okay and these are just getters for those two ids i have just used the id and name and this is one constructor so main logic is to be written in compared to as you can see it is containing student object okay so comparable compares only uh, object with its another object like class object with its another uh, object means student s1 will be compared with s2 s2 will be compared with s3 okay so if we uh, consider this as s okay then return if we have to for in this example we will consider uh, sorting by using id so s dot okay so this dot id means if you have to sort using uh, in ascending order this dot id minus s dot id okay just save this okay this we have uh, like written implemented the compare to method so now go to our main method and if you see here we have not uh, called any sort method okay so just call sort method compare uh, sorry collections dot sort and just uh, give this array list to it okay, array list name to it array list operation uh, as and containing student object so this to it will search here and it will check whether it is implementing any comparable or comparator and if yes then what's the uh, id or what's the like variable it is using so it will sort the result with the help of id because we have used here id so let's see through code first if we have pass collection dot sort array list and we are just printing uh, with for loop okay st dot get id so if i save and run now we will like one two three four because in this we have sort using ascending id ascending order sorry okay so if you have to sort using descending order just replace this position first you have to write the parameter argument and then this dot id this dot whatever uh, the uh, variable you are using to sort so one save and if you see 4 3 2 1 so for ascending first you have to write this dot and then uh, minus with this uh, argument and for descending first you have to write argument then this so this is our comparator uh, compare sorry comparable we can use to sort the data now we will see comparator now suppose if we have to uh, sort by using name or any other variable if uh, suppose there is a one more variable private uh, string any like add uh, sorry what we can say ct okay whatever it will it will be so if we have to sort using specific uh, any uh, field so in that case we will use comparator so sorry compare it remove from near and in comparator you have to 
just uh, create one more class for example class name compare as we are comparing using uh, name okay and this will implement comparator comparator of student okay and as we have see comparator okay yeah, it will throw you an error and add unimplemented method and comparator contains compare method. So student, it will contain two arguments, student uh, object S1, student object S2. Okay, so I will show you how to sort in ascending and descending order. So first if we will sort using ascending and as we are comparing using name, so you have to use object S1 that is first argument dot get name getter you have to use getter here then dot compare compare to uh, then second argument dot get name okay here actually i have written two times yeah. now if we dot get name okay this is our implementation of this compare method but only one thing one more change you have to do is earlier in comparable we were using just one argument so in comparator you have to just give one more argu argument that is this comparable uh, comparator object so for that first create that comparator object name compare equal to new name compare okay it will create object and just pass this name compare to as a second argument to sort method so it will now check and it will realize that uh, this is implementing comparator and it will now compare by using name as we have passed here dot get name ok so let's save and as uh, first uh, I will show you what's the name here so c, c a d b it's uh, added in this manner in array list so if we run and save now you will see uh, sorry get id we have been get name okay now if i save so you will see a b c d okay so as we have uh, sorted in ascending order one descending just replace this s2 that is second argument first dot compare to first argument now if we run and if i say and run d c b a okay it has been entered in descending order so this is how comparable and comparator you can use in uh, java to you compare and sort the data so i hope you understood the concept please let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section till then subscribe to our channel as learning and stay safe